What's up everybody, cccgolfer08 here with UnderTheCode.com, bringing you a quick little video here on part one of my guide to holing out. Uh, here I am, I'm sitting here on the tee box. Uh, what I'm going to do is zoom out here. As you can see, it's a relatively short par four. Uh, what I could do in this situation, what a lot of people would do, is just try to drive it up here, maybe in this little gap. Um, basically just try to hit it out there as far as you can. In my opinion, that is the wrong choice. Uh, basically, as you can see in my blog that I posted that this video is attached to, you're going to see the first thing you want to do is try to think of a lie that you're going to want to or that you want. And you want to try to leave yourself a flat lie. So what you can do is actually when you're zoomed out on the left analog stick, you can actually push it in to zoom in and out as I'm doing here. And then you can actually push down on that left analog stick and you can actually get a good view of the fairway to find a flat lie. As you can see, if I go up here to where I was going to drive, it's not very flat. Uh, at all you can see there's a lot of hills there in the fairway uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually play it back here in the fairway uh, the second thing you actually wanna do is try to find a yardage that you feel comfortable with uh, these are average course conditions so uh, what I'm gonna wanna do is land the ball behind the pin and actually roll it back to the pin um, with a little bit of spin uh, so what I'm gonna do here is try to find a lie to give myself a wedge as well as a flat lie so as you can see here you're gonna wanna play it kind of in the middle of the fairway if anything to the right of the fairway because if I go over here to the left you can see it gets pretty hilly there uh, so I'm gonna play it out here to the right uh, try to leave myself in between maybe 120 and 140 yards so I can have a wedge to the green uh, the next thing you're gonna wanna look at is the wind uh, to try to make sure that you try to leave yourself a favorable wind into the green uh, as you can see the wind is going at one o'clock so no matter where I put it really uh, I'm gonna have somewhat of a sideways wind so I'm not really too worried about the wind in this case uh, so what I'm gonna do here is hit 230 uh, out here into the fairway try to leave myself a nice little wedge into the green with a relatively flat lie uh, so as you can see here it's gonna show what yardage I am to the flag it looks like I am 134 so I am a wedge uh, as I look down at my lie here, you can see it is relatively flat. It's a little bit below my feet, a little down slope, but it's a lot better shape than I would have been up, up there where if I would have hit my driver. Uh, so basically, yeah, I can just go ahead and come out here to the green. Uh, you can see that there's a little bit of space behind the green. I just want to land it behind the hole. Uh, so I'm just going to try to hit it a little bit short, let the wind uh, kind of take it up there. And let's see how this ends up. It is coming in a little bit behind the hole, it looks like. Let it come back and almost hold it out, not quite. Uh, but I did give myself a good shot there by laying up in the fairway, giving myself a wedge into the green, as well as giving myself a relatively flat lie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do think this is a part of the game that people don't really look into that much, is trying to put yourself in a good position in the fairway. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I wish you guys the best of luck.